Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Gaming. These are some of the best games that you can play over and over again. Starting off, we have Hades, which is thought of as one of the best games of all time. In the god-themed roguelike, you play as Agraeus, who's trying to escape from hell. In this game, there are multiple different power-ups that you can receive from different gods. Not only are there these different power-ups, but there's also multiple different weapons that you can use. Every room layout is different from run to run, and even the bosses at the end of each realm can change. Combine all these together, and every attempt to escape from the underworld feels different. There's also an amazing story that reveals itself as you get stronger. There's a stellar voice cast and some of the most addictive gameplay loops ever. Stardew Valley just might be one of the most tranquil games ever. Or you could get sucked into trying to make the most efficient, profit-driven farm the world has ever seen. The game starts with you inheriting a rundown farm and embarking on the journey to restore it. Along the way, you meet the townsfolk of Pelican Town. You learn to fish, become a miner, forage in the forest, and raise livestock. Each of these activities ties into each other perfectly to make it a super satisfying gameplay loop. Every day can be as different as you want as you work towards various goals and milestones. There's always something to do in Stardew Valley. Slay the Spire combines the roguelike and deck building genres and has you attempting to scale the spire and slay it. As you make your way through the tower, you fight a diverse array of enemies. You uncover powerful relics to help you on your path and strategically construct the strongest deck you possibly can. What makes Slay the Spire so addictive is the fact that every attempt is different. There's four different characters that you can play as, along with hundreds of different card combinations. You're always trying to figure out the best way to play with a certain character. Will you go for a deck based around all-out attack, or maybe go for a more defensive build? Each run is different, and as you level up the characters, you unlock new and powerful cards. Once you finally slay the Spire, well, that's only the beginning of the addiction as there's over 20 different difficult levels for you to conquer. In the world of Hitman, you play as Agent 47, who is a Hitman. The series started way back in 2000 and has evolved over the years into a game where you have an amazing amount of freedom to go about assassinating various targets that you are assigned. Whether you want to shoot someone with a cannon or feed them to a hippo, there's multiple ways in every level for you to take out your target. As you complete kills in more and more stylish ways, you earn XP. You can use that to unlock different locations as well as equipment as you hone your skills and work towards getting all the awards in every location. Add in the other modes that have been introduced over the years, and you have a title that you can keep playing over and over. Vampire Survivors might look simplistic, outdated, and not very fun, but trust me, just give it a go and your opinion will immediately change. It's a simple concept, and the only control you have over your character is where you move. The game has plenty of depth as you fight off hordes of enemies as you gather abilities and work to level them up. There's multiple different levels and playable characters which help the game's replayability, but the thing that keeps you coming back to this game is seeing your damage numbers go up. Your screen turns into an incredible light show with all the effects coming from your weapons. Into the Breach is a turn-based strategy game where you defend humanity from an invading alien threat. Each level is set on a grid-based battlefield and you command a squad of mechs and have to protect the cities from destruction. Every level is tricky and you have to think two steps ahead to be victorious in every mission. While the game may look simple, there's a massive amount of depth to the game. You can find yourself spending hours and hours playing this game as you fight to keep the human race alive. I don't know what else there is to say about Minecraft that hasn't been said already. It's a game that came out 13 years ago and it stuck around for good reason. If you somehow miss this game, essentially you dig, craft, and build anything you want. Rocket League is an all-time classic and I'm sure most of us have played it over the years. You can play solo or in a group and the level of skill can vary so much. When you start playing, you might see someone flying across the sky to hit the ball and think it's impossible to be that good, but after a couple of weeks of playing, you'll be doing just the same. With so many different ways to get better, as well as plenty of different ways to customize your car, there's always something to bring you back to Rocket League. Dead Cells is a roguelike metroidvania that's all about the gameplay. Every run is a little different as you make your way through levels filled with enemies, traps, and treasures. With each run, you collect cells to unlock new weapons and keep getting stronger so you're more likely to succeed in your next attempt. With a combination of different weapons that you can find, every run feels like the one you might finally win until you don't. Most of us have been playing first-person shooters for many years now, and it's a genre that just keeps on giving. Whether you're playing with friends or randoms, it's a genre that you can always go back to. There's just something satisfying about taking out a complete stranger in a multiplayer game. While some of the more recent COD entries haven't been as good as the previous ones, it's still a solid series with great gunplay. When you add in all the Battle Royale games that are in the market now, there's always something to play and grind away at. 
If you enjoyed this video about some of the games that you can play over and over, maybe check out this video for the opposite. Games that you can complete in just one day.